Hey, I'm Ty. Welcome back to Air Slingy TV. We're in West Texas, Los Cuernos Ranch. Whitetail, axes, wild turkey, we got it all. We're bow hunting Sonora, Texas. I'm Ty, and you're watching Air Slingy TV. Welcome to Air Slingy TV. Good morning, folks. I'm in the thriving metropolis of El Dorado, Texas, way out west, headed to Sonora to do some bow hunting. Can't wait to get there. Gonna meet Mr. Cody Gann, head out to the ranch, see what happens right here on Arrow Slinging TV. Shirley Brothers. Wow, it's a beautiful looking ranch, y'all. He was lying when he said Oldfield Road. It's a little rocky. There's a lot of big white tail. Let's see what we can find. Forties earlier than that. Forties. Cody Gam was showing us around the sleeping accommodations. Teresa and I were excited. It looked comfy. Look at the racks. Jeez. I love European mounts. Let's jump in the truck and take a look around. How many goats you got out here, Eugene? Uh, right now we're sitting about 500 head. Jeez. And they all think we won't feed them. Look mm -hmm. at this big old ram. I'm ready. We got 20 yards, y'all. 18. The range finder at 17 yards from the tree, from the tree to, the... to that rock. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, here we are at Los Cuernos. We're doing the archaeology thing here, man. Before all these trees and all this stuff were here, uh, this was a natural spring that water came up in, and the natives that lived in this part of the country beforehand, this was actual mud and uh, they would come out and get water and stuff but their tracks are left in the rock where the, the mud hardened into, into rock. You can see deer and buffalo and there's actually a human track right over there. Let's check this out. Look at all these footprints. Like size seven women's maybe? <laughs> your foot in there. See how flat their foot, feet are there? From... Walking barefoot? Yeah. But there's no arch to their foot. It's very flat and they wide. And then look, we got look at all the deer, and then there's a lot of buffalo. This is buffalo. Look how big buffalo track. Look how big. So how high up are we right now, food? I think our elevation is about 2,200. Is this part of the Edwards Plateau? Mm hmm this was the heat of the day, so we were looking around the ranch, scouting both spots, Ooh, that's a nice cat. feeding catfish. Oh, here comes some big cat. Y'all eat those? Yeah, some people have. I've never eaten them out of here. We have some people in town. We weren't bow fishing today. We had our sight on whitetail and axes bucks. Let's get back to the blinds and make it happen. Yeah, not the that's perfect, man. That's perfect. It's time to do our first sit, first evening. See what we can't find. There were lots of deer moving around the perimeter, but none would come into shooting range. I was praying this big guy would circle around. This was a nice buck, but he never came in. Well, we'll try again tomorrow. It's so approximately 6,000 acres. We have an area that's dedicated pretty much to just the axis deer. Um, we do both doe and buck hunt. So those that want to just come out to hunt for meat, you know, we can we can take care of that. We did several evenings and afternoons. Lots of deer moving. You could hear axis in the distance, but they never would come in. Does would come to the feeders. Bucks would circle the perimeter. It was tough to get this thing to line up. Another nice buck, way out of range. No intent on coming into the feed. We were on a meat hunt as well as a trophy hunt. 
And finally, a lone spike decided to move in to feed. This is my first time to hunt with my compound bow shot instinctively. So I was very excited to get my first deer. Let's see what happens. It was a good shot. He went about five to seven yards and just piled up. My first instinctively shot deer with a compound. I am pumped. He's not a monster, but I've been practicing shooting this way for a long time and I finally got one. For me, this little management spike is a massive trophy. Let's go see if we can find that white arrow. I paint the arrow shafts white because in my peripheral vision I can pick it up a little better even though I'm focusing on the target. Bonus to the white shaft is I rarely ever lose an arrow. They stand out. There he is. My first instinctively killed deer. The shot was good. It was a clean ethical kill. The G5 did a great job. What a tough little broadhead. I'd like to thank Kevin and Cody Gann and Los Cuernos Ranch for having Teresa and I out. This was an awesome experience. I highly recommend you going out there if you're looking for a quality whitetail or axis hunt. If you want to bow hunt Los Cuernos and see all the monster whitetail and axis we did, go check them out on Facebook or call 325-226-1437.